right, so now I also see all these different type of pods. Um, can you run through it, explain to me when I would want to use which one, what, why is one more beneficial than the other? I like that, that's a good way to do it. So what you probably want to start out with is the Geo Transplanter. Oh, wow. Just a little, little, little yep. two gal. And kind of what makes this special, um, you know, fabric pots, some of the big benefits of fabric pots is basically, it's called air root pruning. Okay. When your roots grow to the edge of the container, Normally with a plastic pot, they kind of hit the edge of the container, they start wrapping around, your plants become root bound, mm -hmm. as well as the fact that there's a couple little tiny holes at the bottom, so the drainage is pretty terrible in most plastic mm -hmm. pots. With these, your roots actually try to grow through the edge of the fabric, they get exposed to the tip, they just basically make the tip of the root out there and they get exposed to air. Since your roots can't live in air alone, mm -hmm. it basically prunes them for you. Mm -hmm. So each time they hit the edge of the container, they just divide and divide and divide and divide, and eventually you have these root systems that are just really nice and healthy and just incredibly full of fibrous roots as you can wow. see in that photo. Okay. So what's cool about this one, this is kind of where you want to start out at. It's got a Velcro seam right here, so when it comes time to transplant, all you gotta do, I like to give it a light watering before you actually are gonna do it, mm -hmm. because basically it's gonna kind of keep the root ball a little more tacked, make it a little more easy to work with. So you kind of scoop on in, take the plant, transplant to your next container. Oh, okay. So we have a variety of containers. This is the original Geopod, five gallon size. What you're gonna see is it's a little bit more rigid than some of the other fabric pots on the market. She stands up by itself pretty well. Really nice and easy to fill with soil. You don't kind of have to have your arm in there and you know be trying to put a bag over your shoulder and all that stuff. <laughs> Quadruple stitch using marine okay. thread, designed for sales for sailboats. Totally, you know, gonna be able to withstand all the environment. I mean, they're awesome. Durable. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Can you do it? Watch this. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> We sew our handles on separately. These are pretty burly as well. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the original Geopod. They have square bottoms. So they fit really efficiently into flood and drain trays. So that's kind of a nice way to okay. use your space. We also have the G-Lite. She'll be able to see. Um, it's about 30% less in cost. Um, you can see it's a little bit of a thinner fabric. Yeah. For sure. So why would I want to use this one? Because it seems to be more durable uh, compared to this one. It's a cost thing. It's a cost issue. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you're not planning, these are going to last you five, six years. If oh, wow, you're okay. Sure properly. Wow, okay. You, know, you just want to wash them with a little bit of OxyClean, kind of gets rid of any pathogens or anything like that. But it's not going to kill off all your soil biology. Hmm, Whereas okay. if you use, like, you know, chlorine or something like that. Right. So these, um, these are going to last about, you know, maybe four or five cycles or so for the G Lite, but they are about 30 or 40% less in cost. Um, so that's kind of the big benefit of doing these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have a brand new model, one of my personal favorites. This is called the Squad Pot. Shoot. Yeah. This is a five gallon, but let's see how wide it is in comparison to like this one. Right. But you don't have these awesome handles. It doesn't have the <laughs> handles, unfortunately. Yeah, and they're really nice for uh, larger sizes as well, too. Like a lot of, uh, when, you're, when you're growing from cuttings, your roots really don't go much further down than a foot and a half anyways. So our 200 gallon models are 16 and a half inches deep. Our 400 gallon models are 17 and a half inches deep. So it's a more efficient use of your root space, basically. It's going to be a lot wider. It helps kind of control your plant's height. Right. And makes sure you're not wasting a bunch of your plant's energy on vertical growth when you could be doing much more horizontal growth and a lot more exposed flower tips. Kind of forget a lot more. So. Okay. 